Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from Philippians 4, God's Provisions. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now, at last, you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned before, but you lacked opportunity. So evidently they had expressed, you know, their concern for him before, um, but evidently they couldn't do anything for him or couldn't get there or something. Um, not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. Um, and he's probably had to, you know, he was shipwrecked, he was jailed, he, was, he went through a lot <laughs> to be a witness for Jesus. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. And that is something that we um, need to take note of, because we're not always content with every circumstance we find ourselves in, you know, as human beings. Sometimes we find ourselves in circumstances that we're definitely not content with. <laughs> um, so we can learn a little about having some patience um, and um, humble means. Um, some of us are living on humble means, you know, uh, because that's the cards we've been dealt. Um, and you have to be okay with that, you know. I can't go out and spend money we don't have, you know. I can't go out and gamble all of our, you know, money away to try and get more. You have to be happy with what you have. Um, and there were times that I was prosperous. Um, when I first started out on my own and I was making more money than I was making working <coughs> at a, you know, job for somebody else. And, you know, I could buy, excuse me, I got a hair, I could buy extra things for the kids and myself and, you know, we had a great, happy life. So, I know how to live in both circumstances, too. Um, and that's something we should all learn if we haven't learned that yet. Um, because sometimes you're going to be up, sometimes you're going to be down. And you have to learn to deal in whatever situation you find yourself in. <clears throat> and being filled and going hungry, you know. Now, I feel like he's not just talking about food, you know, but I'm sure we've all been full and we've all been hungry. Um, but I think he's also talking about the spirit, you know, being filled and then sensing, you know, hunger for, you know, the spirit. So, you know, that's something we should think about, too, is when you're going throughout your day, if you're filled with the spirit, it's a lot easier to navigate that day than... If you're hungry <laughs> and abundance and suffering need you know I'm sure most of us it sometime have had abundance and sometimes we suffer need um, there's been times in our life you know where we've needed you know help from other people because we just didn't have the resources to do whatever needed to be done whether it's get a car fixed or you know some home improvement problem or you know pay for uh, Oh, excuse me, getting a tree cut up that had fallen down. You know, sometimes we just don't have the money and we either have to borrow it or, you know, charge it, which then costs us more, <laughs> you know, so I'm sure, my goodness, I'm having a bad allergy today because I ate some green beans and the key on that is I'm allergic to chlorophyll and they're fresh green beans uh, and, um, I didn't get very many bites in before, you know, um, the allergy thing started. So I've had to actually take my emergency squirt of, you know, stuff here. But I'm still itchy and my throat's still, I feel a little like, it, I can feel the little swell in there. Like it's thinking about it like to close up. So you have to bear with me today. <laughs> I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Um, and that, of course, is uh, our Lord. Nevertheless, you have done well to share with me in my affliction. Um, because Jesus said we were going to have affliction. And, you know, uh, I forget uh, which one of them said, Blessed 
you know, are you when you're being afflicted, and Jesus, you know, I know said that, but one of the other apostles also said that. Um, so, you know, it's going to happen. We might as well learn to deal with it um, because, you know, getting upset and throwing a fit about it is not going to help anyway. You yourselves also know, Philippians, that at the first preaching of the gospel, after I left Macedonia, no church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, but you alone. For even in Thessalonica, you sent a gift more than once for my needs. Um, and see, that shows that they're, you know, thoughtful that they're going to that kind of trouble. Um, and we all should be tithing if we're not. Not that I seek the gift itself, but I seek for the profit which increases to your account. Um, and, you know, we are being kept account of. You know, if you don't believe that, I feel sorry for you. Um, but we are being kept account of. Um, and someday we're going to have an answer for everything. You know, I'm not super thrilled about some of the things I'm going to have to answer for. Uh, but for most of them, you know, I, I'm cool with that. And, uh, you know, if, if you've been doing a lot of things that maybe you're not happy answering for, maybe it's time to change that around. So you don't have to um, feel like that, you know, it's going to be the rest of your life. Um, you can have a new life. But I have received everything in full and have an abundance. I am amply supplied, having received from Epaphroditus what you have sent, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. So, you know, whatever they sent was really good and it's keeping him, you know, uh, his needs met. Um, so, I mean, that's the point in, you know, donating to churches and preachers. Um, because that's what these people are doing. You know, they're not, they're, they don't have, they don't have a day job. Um, you know, unless they do, there are some preachers who actually have very small churches and they work a day job and then they come do that on Sunday morning. You know, I know of a small community where that's a thing that happens sometimes. Um, but you know, when, when you are blessing, uh, the workers, you know, you also bless the harvest. Because then they can do more. <laughs> and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Um, like we said the other day about, you know, if God provides for the sparrow, how much more is he going to provide for you? And, you know, Jesus said about Solomon and all his glory was never dressed like one of the lilies of the field, you know, which is grass. And, you know, after a week or so, they're dead and gone. So, you know, God will provide for your needs. You just have to ask. That's what Jesus said, uh, is you don't receive because you don't ask. Now, to our God and Father, be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren and sisters who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, especially those of Caesar's house. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. And uh, so, you know, he's given them, them the blessing. And a lot of preachers, you know, bless their congregation um, before they go and everything. And uh, that's something that you should do um, if you're not doing that, in my opinion. Um, but, um, you know, uh, we have to remember that God does provide for us. We just have to ask, you know, and mean it, you know, and in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's all for now.